Hey, it's me, Finezula. Welcome back to another creator tutorial. And uh, today I will be showing you a few different methods. And stick around af uh, because after those uh, methods, I will also give you a few tips, like general tips about the creator, not glitches, but uh, useful info anyway. Okay, first I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, prop drop or uh, lower method uh, where you can just play stuff where you otherwise couldn't be at weird angles and also this uh, number switch method where you can do crazy stuff. It's not the most uh, practical glitch but you can do some cool stuff with it. Let's get started with this one. This is a really simple one. Now uh, you guys might have seen in my previous videos the move method where you can put stuff inside other stuff by moving them there and this is basically the same but it's done vertically instead of horizontally so now you will use the left and right sticks to lower and raise the prop and first we go down there oh and by the way you don't want to do this like I'm uh, showing you with the camera now because it might like get out of place if you put it up and down it might move a bit uh, what I found best is to do it from straight above like this and this way the camera won't won't move even if you like circle around or whatever or it might a little bit like you saw but t if you just don't tilt it sideways it should be always at the same spot okay now we are good to go let's check I want to place this here now we just have to lower the prop in place and press A precisely at the right time and it will glitch it into its place. That's very simple and a great example of why the um, creator needs a serious overhauling like everything takes 10 times as long as it should with a proper creator uh, like come on Rockstar you shouldn't be um, uh, <laughs> you, you should allow us to put this stuff in uh, like this straight away without fucking glitching it or whatever um, now the second mm, method I will show you is this uh, prop number switch method and you, you can uh, use it to place stuff inside other, other stuff like this or like sideways or whatever I'm just experimenting with this like I said earlier it's not the most um, like practical glitch but you can do some cool stuff with it but I'll show you now how to do it basically let's say this is the prop number one and this as I pick it up you can see it's number four so now we gotta switch over the one okay there we go you see I have placed the fallen lockdown which is by the way a pretty good prop for this because it it's almost at an uh, upright angle and so it will allow you to place these props sideways like this on the other props it uh, like this one here it will just place it normally but inside the other prop anyways and uh, now I'll show you we are now on the number one now I'm gonna have to go uh, go to a suitable location oh and of course first switch to do because we're gonna wanna use the number one as the like the place we're gonna place it now when I switch from to the one and press A very quickly I'll be able to place it down at least eventually uh, now here the timing is very important you want to do it as fast as you can like with the there we go like with the other glitches there might be a little uh, just a tiny bit of delay and uh, it, this might feel weird for you if you haven't done it before like no this is not working you have to do it a little bit faster than the other uh, methods probably but yeah oh and hey one more thing this is also very good if you're wondering like how I can stack um, more of these in the future here if I want and the way you can do that is of course you can do it manually like this but you can also just use that prop switch, uh, switch method oh that's the wrong one yeah 15 uh, let's just switch place down and it will go straight to the top like that and that's a very nice way to stack props on top of each other and do other st sorts of cool stuffs um, now I will uh, give you the two extra tips 
that I found very useful myself. First of all, of course, we have this. Uh, if, if if you tend to make long descriptions or stuff like that for your races, there's a very good trick where you can uh, put any USB keyboard to your Xbox and it will let you type in the description like so. Uh, I cannot show you when I'm using my keyboard now, but you uh, you should be able to do this no problem. As you can see, I'm not using my controller to access the uh, access the letters on screen. I'm doing it with my USB keyboard. And one more thing I want to show you. If you guys uh, run into any trouble, like let's say you're glitched out in the creator, so sometimes it will, uh, like let's say after a test run, it will uh, put you back in the this mode, but you cannot do anything. There might be a guy walking on the uh, screen or something and uh, it just won't let you do anything. There is one thing you can try to do. You go to settings, network and go offline. Now you just press B until you back out to the game. You'll get this error message, but don't worry. Go back to settings, network and this time go online. Now when you back out to the game, you it should say uh, connection has been restored. Now at this point you will be able to save your uh, creation. You won't be able to do the test, uh, at least for me it doesn't work after doing this glitch, but at least you'll be able to save your um, job and of course it doesn't work for published jobs, only for saved jobs or copies of your older jobs or something. But hopefully this can help some of you guys out. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned something new. And I'll see you next time. Bye.